Hey everybody, D Amazing here, bringing you a review of the Storm Collectible Street Fighter V Vega, aka M. Bison over here in America. Just for those who don't know, there actually are people who don't know. Don't be mad at them. It's whatever. Anyway, let's get into the review. Uh, today we're going to talk about Vega um, and this ginormous figure and what to expect from it. Um, and just pretty much go over it. Uh, I'm going to pop the head off real fast. I'm going to talk about how really nice this sculpt is and how well it's done. And that's one thing I'll say about the Storm Collectible stuff. It's really accurate to literally what the game is. And it's just something that you can actually look forward to and do. It's really nice. Now, one thing I want to talk about on the head is that actually the hat is made of a soft plastic. You don't have to worry about it breaking or ripping, anything like that. Uh, it's almost rubbery in a way. And to swap out the heads, they're separate heads. And you just pop the cap on and you go from there. So you don't have to worry about, you know... Oh, is it a face swap? Will I lose something? They're all separate heads. Just take the hat off. And the other two sculpts are actually really dope. Um, they're very Vega-like, a.k.a. Bison. One of them is him pretty much grinning, showing you that he's, uh, you know, a little maniacal. And the next one is him literally just flat out laughing at you. And uh, it's really dope. You can see both. So I'm a big fan of Storm Collectible Sculpt. I think it's they've done a wonderful job of just capturing the video game likeness which is really nice i'm actually gonna put the smiling head on i like this one the most now the figure body in itself is just really nice oh let me make sure it pops in there we go now the figure body is actually really nice um vig is actually his costume his look it's all really simple and it's captured really well here in in him uh they actually gave him rotating joints uh which i basically call uh butterfly joints I don't know if what it's actually called. Uh, the shoulder pads are actually connected to the pieces here, and I'm going to get into that in a second. Now, it's really nice because they rotate forward, and they give you the maximum range of articulation while still having upper torso swivel and lower torso swivel. So you can actually get tons of meaningful articulation out of the character here. And then you also have bicep swivel as well. The arms go up really far. Where they're only limited by the muscles, but they get up just enough with the help of articulation from other things. That you don't have to really worry about other stuff. The shoulder pads are also plastic. I have not tried to take them out. I should probably try to, but I'm not gonna. I'm always scared that I'm gonna break something because I'm actually incredibly strong when it comes to figures and I should probably be more delicate. So here you can rotate the torso. You can actually go all the way around with no issue. You can go back up and it actually goes pretty far forward as you saw. So it's really dope. I'm actually a big fan of this. Um, I thought that Bison would be hindered, uh, hindered and limited due to his, uh, I don't even know what to call this, but uh, his midriff, I guess, <laughs> or, you know, his gown, whatever it is. I thought it would be limited, but that's actually not the case, and I'm really excited for that. Now, here's the thing. Here's where it gets a little tricky with Bison. You can actually pop the arms out, right? We're going to do that. Now, the thing about him popping his arms out is that the more you do it, the less friction there is for the figure and you have to be careful with that because what happens is the more you keep popping it in and out it actually gets harder to pop it in now i took a lot of pictures so my joints are a little looser but then when i do certain things my arm actually pops out really easy when i do certain poses so i have to be careful these actually come out very easily really easy so if you want to repaint your bison or do something crazy most of these pieces come out actually very easy and the reason why that is, is because they give you an option part to do the cross arms with Vega. You just wiggle it out. There are two pieces here. And what's going to happen is you just pop them in. And because of the butterfly joint, it allows you to easily line them up, which I actually am not making look easy at all right now. But you actually bring it up. See, I'm messing up now. And this is what I was saying. They actually come out very easy. So you have to be careful with the arm joint. I'm going to try it again. They actually planned it so that it is simpler, but because I'm on camera and obviously nervous, even after all this time, I still mess up. But it is what it is, right? So we're going to pop this ball joint in. I'm actually going to line it up because I failed to line it up. That's what happened. You raise the arms a little, and then you bring it down. And just like that, you can have Vega pretty much uh, doing his iconic, uh, you know, laugh at you pose, depending on the head you choose, him grinning at you. It's very imposing. 
but it actually looks really, really dope with the arms folded. I'm actually enjoying this pose a lot that I, I chose to do it in a couple photos. Hopefully you'll enjoy it at the end, but it looks really good. So as you can see, it looks more flush and more normal. It gives you that whole look of, I'm going to probably murder you and I'm going to be happy about it, you know? So it's really good. You can actually rotate the head all the way around. No problems. And I thought that was really cool. The neck actually has movement as well. So you don't have anything to worry about. Now, again, because the arms sit a, sit a little looser because I've played with it a lot. So you have to be careful when you open up yours. Now, the other thing, I'm going to pop the normal arms back in. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is swapping out his lower skirt. Uh, now, that actually, uh, there's something about that. And I'm going to do it. So you got to pop the upper torso. You got to pull it apart like a crazy person. And then you have these. This is the lower leg. This is the lower body. Now, you want to be careful here. I don't know if you can see it, but mine has a stress mark that it just automatically came with. And I'm always scared because the right leg is actually much tougher than my left leg. So I was very careful with that. But you have to be careful. Mine's came with a stress mark. You don't want yours to uh, come with a stress mark. It'll, it'll drive you crazy and you'll always be scared that you'll break something. Now, leg articulation is actually really nice. It has a joint that allowed for rotation of both. But obviously, because Bison's bustles, uh, muscles are so big and it's based on Street Fighter V, it doesn't go all the way back, but it goes far enough. There's ankle pivot as well, and there's toe pivot. It actually goes really far up. And these rotate all the way around. So that's something to look forward to. Legs actually go out pretty far as well when it's not on the skirt. So just be aware of that. And then rotate it back on. Now I'm going to leave the leg straight up and I'm going to show you something. This is the normal skirt. This is the open skirt. Open skirt is supposed to allow for more articulation for you to do the things that you like and, and certain poses. What you're going to do is you're going to line it up. Make sure that it fits on. Then you're going to pop the upper torso back on. Again, you have to be careful because, like I said, you don't want to cause stress to the joint like I'm actually doing right now accidentally. <laughs> and then like that, again, worried about my stressing the legs. So you got to be careful. But just like that, this is supposed to allow for more articulation in the legs like walking forward poses, things like, just things in general. So I'm gonna do some posing so you guys can see. The hands actually come off very easy and they're actually soft as well. But if you wanted to walk forward and do some certain poses, you can actually do so. So there's really cool stuff that you can do. And the open skirt actually gives you more options. It gives you also options to do this his scissor kick and because it gives him enough articulation to do so now especially with the open one you can do his scissor kick there's a stand right here as well i'm not going to use it because i don't use these the stands that they give me i kind of work with what i have i really don't like opening stands i like to just use the ones i have because you tend to lose stands very quickly but as you can see you can do his scissor kick which i thought was pretty dope now bison actually comes with uh, a set of accessories and hands and i'll show you those now You actually get hands for holding his Psycho Flame powers. Now, I just attach the flames automatically, but they actually come off of him. So just be aware, you need to line up the hands to the grooves accordingly. And then once you do so, it'll sit in the hand really well. So I just got to find it because even I have trouble doing it. But once you learn where they are, they sit in really well. See? Nothing to worry about. So this is really dope that he comes with Psycho Power hands. He comes with a Psycho Power effect part. And for that hand, you're going to use either his normal flat out hand. And it slides in. He comes with two of those, just in case you want to see. Or you can use the Psycho Powered hand. So what you can do is you can slide it in as well for the Psycho Power hands. These ones don't use the flame, but they're kind of semi-translucent, which is pretty dope. Then there's just normal relaxed palms or attack palms, whichever ones you want to call them. These are really nice as well. And that pretty much wraps up Bison and what he comes with and how cool he is. I actually like it a lot. 
And now I'm going to show you the scale because this is the one that everybody worries about. If you are one of those uh, scale Nazis, you're going to be actually pretty mad because uh, he is gigantic compared to other figures. For some reason, I cannot find my Storm Collectibles Ryu, but uh, Scorpion will have to do for now. So this is him next to another Storm figure. This is him next to a Mezco. And as you can see, he's pretty big. This is him next to a Sentai SHF. This is him next to a Marvel Legend. And this is him next to SHF Ryu. So as you can see, you can totally see where his scale is. He is much bigger than most other figures, if not pretty much all of them. But it definitely works for intimidating, size scaling, multi-scale display. If you're going to take photos, it definitely works for you in many different ways. But if you just want him to be in scale and sit in the display, you might be upset about some stuff. Overall, I'm really enjoying the figure. Um, I had a ton of fun actually taking photos with him. I sat down and, and uh, studied ways to make it work in photos, and I just had a blast with it. Um, I'm actually liking it way more than I did. And Storm is actually doing a great job. So I'm actually looking forward to uh, other stuff like Zangief, Ken. I'm really looking forward to them. I'm really hoping to see them sooner than later, and I hope they don't get delayed. I know that there's a ton of problems going on in the U.S. with distributing them, but I hate that they're getting out there finally. And I hope that you guys pick them up because the U.S. release is actually a lot cheaper than importing it. In the meantime, guys, I hope you're drinking your water. I hope you're being good. I hope you're doing good deeds. And uh, most importantly, staying out of trouble. Um, it's a rough world out there. So be good, guys. And see you later. Have a good one.